Hey, hey, hey. Excited to visit with you tonight. Excited, excited. Every time I'm with you, I'm excited. <laughs> um, so I am going to bring Wendy on here in a second. And I was having some issues bringing her on. We were trying to tag each other. There we go. And whoops, whoa, what is going on here tonight? All right, once I start seeing you hop on, then we will get going. Anyone, anyone, anyone out there? <laughs> okay, so we are talking tonight about your prep preparations for your spring detox, which we are starting tomorrow. And as you've noticed, it's only three days long and you're going to have the opportunity to get over feeling sluggish and feeling annoyed and all the things, right? <laughs> so if you've been feeling sluggish, unmotivated, annoyed, <laughs> grumpy, now is your time to do your spring detox. and. Both Wendy and I regularly have uh, commit to self-care every day. So Wendy, share with them, what did you do today for self-care? Uh, I worked out. Uh, I did some cardio. Um, tomorrow is my big self-care day. Wednesdays are always my self-care day where I do yoga at 5.30 a.m. And then I always get a massage yes. every single Wednesday. And um, that was one of awesome. my non-negotiables um, that I made for myself probably about a year ago. Uh, no, two, ah. years, two years ago. Um, yes. Drinking lots of water. I drink lots of water. Yes. Very important. Yes. But yeah. Good. And then making sure we're just fueling our bodies with um, good, nutritious food that is good for you. So both Andy and I have meals prepped for us because... We are busy with five kids and multiple businesses, and then that is the thing that just falls on the wayside for us is meal prepping, right. grocery shopping, and then eating healthy. And so to support us and to support ourselves, is mm -hmm. that's what we do is we have meals prepped for us because then we know that we are getting the proper nutrition. So smart. So well, I'm curious if anyone watching has struggled with keeping things in balance and taking care of yourself versus just getting in the grind and maybe things fall by the wayside and you go into old habits and you're just starting to feel that sluggish, like the feeling again. I know I feel that way, especially this time of year because our winters drag on and on. In fact, tonight, again, we have another winter storm warning. Hello. <laughs> and so there's, there's ways that I know, tricks that I have learned that have really helped me feel my best. And one of them is a detox because remember, environmental toxins, the things that you consume, the sugars especially, alcohol especially, um, processed foods especially, stress, all of these things can contribute to kind of, if you think of your body, um, think of it as kind of it gets blocked up in more ways than one. Like when I say blocked up, you're probably thinking bathroom challenges. No, um, it you actually have this uh, your body naturally will cleanse itself, but sometimes I think it's helpful to give a little help. And in winter, people tend to eat richer foods. They're indoors more often. There can be higher stress depending on what's going on in your, with your finances or your relationships in the wintertime because in the wintertime, we are generally in inside more and around people more, our families especially, and if there's any tension, that can cause the stress hormones to be higher. If you're having stress because you had a stressful holiday season with finances, then that can carry over into how you feel now. So we have an incredible cleanse for you. It's pretty dang simple. There are two plans, so you can utilize your Thrive Experience products, or you can do this just if you don't have the products. Both plans will work for you, and you will experience this gentle cleanse. So let's talk about the first plan, which is for those of you who do not have our products, we're going to recommend that you make a commitment to a minimum of eight hours of sleep at night, drink half your body weight in ounces of fresh, clean water, 
And then you're going to want to choose nourishing, healthy foods, right? So no sugars, no alcohol, no processed foods. You want to make sure you're consuming more green leafy vegetables. Maybe you want to do a couple of green drinks. Don't make them too sweet. And then your the other thing to add to that is the relaxing part. So this is the piece that I love. And um, both Wendy and I were talking about how we love to journal. We love to light a candle. So I have my candle here as a prop. Um, the detox bath. I think I saw on your Instagram story this morning you took a bath. Yep. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so this is cool. This is Epsom salt, and it's high in magnesium, so very good for the body. It's very relaxing. It helps pull out toxins and put, replenishes the body with magnesium, which is, causes a lot of – you feel more rest, rested when you take this bath at night. And then you can add, so two cups of your Epsom salt, two cups of your apple cider vinegar. You can also drink a teaspoon of this in water. Have you ever done that, Wendy? Uh, no, I'm too scared to. <laughs> Why? It doesn't taste bad at all. Andy you just does. add a teaspoon of it to eight ounces of water. Andy does. Oh, he does. Yes, that's right. I haven't done it yet, though. I have. Uh, it's not, it doesn't taste bad. I have to, it's really good for your body. It helps with alkalinity. And then the mustard bath, again, alkalinity. And this is one that you might find at a health food store. You can, I think, buy it on Amazon. Smells good. Um, I, these are just my props. You can use any of these for your bath and a bath bomb. Super easy. So we start tomorrow, you guys. So wake up in the morning. And when do you grab your Thrive products? Now plan um, for the next plan. If you have your Thrive Experience products, you can incorporate these um, relaxing end of the day routine and also use your Thrive Experience products throughout your day. So you're going to wake up and do your three simple steps, which she has here to show you. So we start with our capsule. capsule. And I keep mine right beside my bed because I take mine before I even get out of bed. It's the best part. I actually wake up in yes. time. I always check to make sure to see what time the sun rises. And then I, my window is positioned to see the sunrise every single morning. It's the best part about my day. Oh, nice. And so mm -hmm. I actually take my capsules with a full glass of water. I always actually keep this beside my bed as well. And so I drink a full one of these before I even get out of bed. And so I take my capsules. And then I head out into the kitchen. And I have my lifestyle mix. And I actually mix this with our boost, which is our greens and vegetables powder as well. And I love that. And then I'll have this as for an afternoon snack as well. And then our Derma Fusion technology. Yes. This is my favorite. The cheetah print, yes. of course. Oh, good. <laughs> I love it. So that's and how so we start it. our mornings. Yes. So, and if you're doing this plan for your cleanse, I'm going to go walk it through with you, but then I'll place a graphic for you in the comments and also one on the event. And um, so basically what you'll do, you'll start off your day with your three core products, your capsule, lifestyle mix, and DFT. And like Wendy or Rob, I know that both of you guys um, add the boost to your lifestyle mix. So that's a great way to get the extra greens in for the day. And also remember this, the boost is jam-packed with different greens ingredients, real plant-based ingredients and probiotics. So it reduces inflammation in the body. This is an incredible drink if you're starting to go feel like you're getting under the weather or if, if, even if you have a lot of stress, you're traveling. It's an awesome drink for that. So you're going to plan to drink that one of those in the morning, and you can do it with your lifestyle mix or mid-morning. Um, then at lunchtime, you'll have additional lifestyle mix. You might choose to eat a light salad or soup. It's up to you. And listen to your body. If you feel like you need a bit more calories, then choose something that's healthy and non-processed. And my guess is you know what that is. And if you don't, drop a question and we'll answer that for you. Um, and then in the mid-afternoon, you're going to have your second boost. In the evening, when you wind down, I'm going to encourage you to do incorporate a little bit of a digital detox. That means you're not on your devices late into the evening. You're giving your time, yourself some extra time to relax, renew. That's when you'll do your detox bath. Again, that's two cups of Epsom salt, two cups of apple cider vinegar. You can even include some cold therapy and get into a cold shower and go back between your cold shower and your super hot bath. It feels incredible. Very um, just 
it, it's awakening. And yet when you get out and you wrap up in your warm robe and you climb into bed and you listen to your meditation and you do some journaling and your candles lit. I mean, this is like such a great experience. <laughs> like, right? We create our own spa experience every night. <laughs> We do every night. I tell you what's like if you don't love it every single night. So, um, so, and then finally, when going to bed, you take a balance. Okay. And again, you'll experience this great gentle cleansing and this has very supportive herbs for cleansing an additional dose of probiotics. And you'll just be noticing more energy and, um, just make sure you're drinking lots of water to help yeah. process any toxins that your body is flushing out and just do this for st three days in a row. And people always ask me, should I eat food? Well, yes. If you feel that that supported for, supports you, then do it. If you feel it distracts your body from d processing out the toxins, then don't, don't eat a bunch of food and especially don't eat something very heavy and very late into the night. Um, also the final piece is to avoid the sugar and the alcohol during this three-day detox challenge. So do you guys think you can do that? I feel like we should also I say, so. <laughs> I feel like we should also say pop in soda and coffee. Of course. Right, right. I, I just assume people know if it has sugar in it, but maybe they don't. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But I, but, I know for me personally, when I eliminated coffee and I eliminated pop, yeah. And I started drinking more water. Mm -hmm. Just that in and of itself, I felt like a completely different person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there, those things have just become and... such a, a social norm that when you say no sugar, they don't mm -hmm. really think of that because it's just become their new normal. And that's okay. Oh, that's true. We okay. just, yeah, we just want to, mm -hmm. to encourage you to give it a shot because your body does need to cleanse itself and... Everyone wants to feel better. Yes. And so here's the thing. I always, I will do these every three months for three days. And every single month, I will do it for at least one day. I just listen to my body, see how I feel. If I need that additional support to get myself really feeling energized and also a component of this is the time out, right? It's the be still. And, and really be connected to yourself versus always so busy, busy, go, go, go. I think it's really easy for us to fall into that habit. So that's the other reason I do these um, detox challenges for myself personally, because it helps to reset, remind that what, what's really important. Let's refocus and it keeps things healthy and balanced. <laughs> Let's all be honest that life can get crazy. I mean, you have five kids, you homeschool, you have a brick and mortar business, you have a network marketing business, multi-million dollar empire, and I do as well. We homeschool our kids. I mean, it's just like things could get crazy. So we have to make these choices to slow it down when we can and plug into what we know works. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys have questions, drop a comment below. And um, if you're excited to do it, please type, I'm all in because I know you can do something for three days for the long-term gain. Any words of wisdom, Wendy? No, I just think, well, yes, actually. Um, we <laughs> always, as human beings, we make time for things that are important to us. So when you decide that this is something that's important to you, you will make time for it. So hearing that I take time to go have a massage every single week, um, if that maybe triggered you or you thought, wow, that would be nice, Maybe that's something deep inside mm -hmm. of you that you would really love. That was just a priority that I made for myself because being a mom to five and a wife and a multiple business owner, I have to refuel myself and I have to fill my cup up so that I can continuously be pouring into others, specifically my children and my husband and my employees and all my organization. And so that is something that, that was like my one non-negotiable that was super important to me because that's how I regain my energy. And it looks different for other people. Some people it's getting going and getting a manicure or a pedicure. I knew that wasn't me and that it was a massage for me. So find what it is for you. And maybe it's simply doing a detox like this for one to three days every single month or, or every quarter, or it's just figuring out what works 
for you. Mm -hmm. Totally. All right. Well, thank you for hopping on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this, please, please let us know because we want to make sure that we are meeting whatever needs you have when it comes to living your best life possible. So thanks for tuning in tonight. And we're looking forward to doing this with you over the next three days. We'll be going live as we do this with you as well. And we're here to answer any questions as they come up. So yay to first day tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, have a good night. Happy detox. <laughs>